Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Donnie, and this video will be covering this question shown on screen. And you might be asking me, why do we have to do this simple question? Because if you try to plug this inside your calculator, you might get an error. Because the numbers are so large. So we're going to go ahead and start solving it. The first thing to keep in mind is the factorial formula. And I'm going to tell you how we can manipulate this. We can remove, not remove, but we have... Let's say 2001 factorial, your n is going to be 2001 and your n minus is going to be 2000. The reason why we're doing that is because the main goal is to try to find a numerator and a denominator that are equivalent, which we cancel out. We cancel out the factorials to make it solvable. As you can see, this is what we're doing over here. We're, we're removing it and separating it from the factorial. And there we can find a common factorial. Now we just got to do for 2000 factorial. And we did it over here. So we did it for 2000 factorial. Now, we can use the distributive law, which states that we can remove that factorial, that 1999 factorial, and put it outside. So this is the law, this is the color coordination. We remove it. The next step is to cancel out that 1999 factorial, the, 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 the denominator. Okay. And now we're left with this. Now we can plug this inside our calculator and get the answer. So 2001 multiplied 2000, which is going to be a value minus by 2000. So we end up with 4 million. So this is the end of this uh, question. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, great day. Bye, guys.